and it was a very peaceful protest. About 150 people showed up here. They all want to see North Carolina reopen once again. There's more people worried about the economy and their livelihoods than they are the coronavirus. This was the turnout on Monday for one of several reopen NC protests across the state. Protesters of all ages holding American flags, sporting hats, and even walkers all decked out in the red, white, and blue. While some were wearing masks and social distancing themselves, many of them were not. We want to open it up and we want to be free. That's we, right. We're essential. Everybody is essential. Speakers range from political candidates. We need to thank God in heaven above that he saw fit to put a nation on earth called America. To leaders of activist groups all with the same message. You simply have to step up. They say they want to see the state and the nation reopen, and they believe their constitutional rights are being infringed upon. We're just grateful to be able to come here and show our respect today, but also at the same time, we want to see our state and our country open back up. We want to see our freedoms protected. The protest also took time to honor both the men and women who gave their lives. MC Bradley Dixon says he believes there's a common theme. Memorial Day does appreciate the freedoms that were bought by the lives that were given, and uh, we are just celebrating those lives. All with a common goal to not stop until North Carolina is fully back open for good. My message is to stand up for freedom. Stand up for liberty. Learn, learn, know what the Constitution means and what it, what it gives you, what what powers it gives you. And I called the governor's office this afternoon to see if they'd like to comment on those protests. I have not yet heard back. Live in Greensboro tonight, Justin Schreier, WXII 12 News.